From the east, we're looking at the stars. What do you think the wise men were like? I think they might have looked really ripped. <laughs> and had really long beards. Yeah, and I stuff. think they would have looked like really old and like, and look really clever as well. <laughs> yeah, maybe like a red and black stripy top. <laughs> it's a normal t-shirt. Yeah. They're very old and they look very clever and they have crowns. So yeah. I think they might have had a beard and maybe some posh clothes on. They were clever men and they studied the stars to find out what was going to happen. One night they were studying the skies when they noticed a new star that God has sent to them showing the good news. Why is it so big? They saw, they a, saw really bright, a really bright star yeah, and they that just, God had sent. And they thought, well, to themselves to follow it because, because if they fell, follow it, it yeah. Stars. And it, it wasn't the brightest star in the sky. I see it. There's a star in the sky. That's brighter than any other. In fact, in the scripture, it says the star which is brighter than any right. other Marks the king was sent from God. They knew what the star meant. It meant a new king had been born. Of course they wanted to meet the new king, so they set off to go and meet him. What do you think the journey was like? Nine miles. 3,000 million miles. <laughs> I'm added 100,000 million miles. Why did we bother looking at the star? Then maybe they made some sort of like a wooden thing with like some wooden things on the bottom, a bit like a skateboard. <laughs> skateboard? <laughs> Just flying up to the star on a skateboard. <laughs> and also they'd probably be quite slow on their camels because camels are quite slow. Yeah. It'd probably quite be quite uncomfortable because of the hump. <laughs> because camels spit and they have, oh sorry, it might have been a bit hard to get on them. <laughs> Would they've used their camels to just travel there? And unlike Mary and Joseph, who had to travel quite a while, they'll have had to travel even further because they would have been in the desert. Maybe saying like what they see, but then I realised they're probably in the desert, so there wasn't that much to see. I spy Miley like something beginning with S. Ah. <laughs> uh, sand. Where would you expect a new king to be? A palace, of course. But when they got to the palace, King Herod wasn't expecting them. <laughs> King Herod was meanie. And they were sent from um, King Herod, I think, or Heron. I can't remember which one it is. Herod, yes. And he did, he wanted to be the only king, so when he heard about it, he sent the three wise men to find Jesus and then kill him. The wise men explained that they was going to see a new king. I bet he wasn't expecting that. King Herod didn't know anything about a new king. That wasn't part of the plan. So he sent the wise men off to go and see the new king, but told them to come back and tell him where the new king was. He said he wanted to worship the new king too, but really wanted to get rid of him. Where's the star? Yeah, where is it? So once again, the Mazen set off following the star until it stopped, until it stopped in Bethlehem. That was a bit different. And they went to see the new king. They bowed in front of the child and laid gift at his feet. I 
Oh, what a beautiful baby you have. Um, they would have been like, and um, they probably would have said like hello and um, like um, said hi to baby Jesus and then probably gave him like the gifts they brought. They all brought gifts for Jesus. Even though he was such a small baby, they still had to, because they knew he'd be Lord, they, they were very kind to him. Gold, Frankenstein, and myrrh. Here were some spices. And gold. What do you think of the gifts? Yeah, because he's still a baby and he wouldn't really have anything to do with gold or frankincense or ma. I don't think the baby would understand the gifts. I don't think they'd be very um, no. interesting for the baby. Like, I don't think that most people would get them as gifts when they were a baby. Well, normally there's just nappies. <laughs> oh, maybe like some a croissant. <laughs> 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 and baby toys. Milk. That's what babies do. A Lego house to live in. A wattle. A pacifier. <laughs> Because it was, it was God's son, so they probably like want to like give it lots of good stuff. Mm -hmm. They, I think the clothes and the pacifier and them sort of things would be better for a baby. Yeah. Mary wasn't very happy with those gifts because it was a baby, but she accepted them and was very thankful for them. Once the wise men had seen Jesus for themselves, they were going to set off on a long journey home. When an angel came and told them not to go back to Herod, as he wanted to get rid of Jesus, so the wise men went home by another road. Jesus was a gift to us from God. Well, he's the greatest gift of the whole world. He um, was given to us so that he could, well, he died on the cross so that he could save us from our sins. and. Um, we give gifts to remember that, um, that, and to remember that all the gifts we give, none of them are greater than this one.